Hello and welcome my beautiful mermaids and merman, my sea sponges of the sea, my fellow Pisces. This is our daily vibe from our guides message for August the 29th. Now I do apologize because I've missed a couple days this week because I've had so much on my personal calendar. So on that note, Try to know that when you don't receive a daily one from me, that it's because I, I haven't been able to fit it into my day. But I'm back on schedule now, so everything should be great. Okay, my fellow Pisces, let's see what we have. Well, our first card we've been given is progress. Love to hear that word. It seems like a long slog, but your efforts will pay off soon. Stay on course for at least a few more months before making a change. So... Things might seem a little tedious. Things might not seem like they're progressing or moving forward quick enough. Pisces, we want everything done ASAP or yesterday or this instant. And we tend to have impatience in that department. Um, and I do think that uh, we need to stay on course. We need to stay consistent. We need to stay proactive. We need to stay put. Okay, but keep moving towards that initial goal. Progress is going to come in. Rome wasn't built in a day, as we know, and it takes time. All things worthwhile are worthwhile waiting and working for. Coming in with that, we are the star. We have the star here. And the universe and the powers that be are saying, dream as big as you want to dream, Pisces. Because we know we are big dreamers. And we lose ourselves in that beautiful, magical world of illusion. However... This is a card that says legitimately, if we stay moving forward, we stay consistent, we put the work in, we're going to find that we will have star power. This is about walking in your light. This is about all eyes on us. This is about, um, you know, seeing attention being generated towards us in a positive manner. This is about you putting out the work and realizing now that the sky's the limit. Okay, you are the headliner, beautiful Pisces, on your own stage. Go out there, market yourself, promote yourself. Okay, this is about you letting the powers that be know who you are and what you're made of and what your capabilities and assets are. So dream big. Progress is on its way. It may take time. Coming in with that, we have the two of pentacles or coins. You could be feeling as though you're juggling your time. So time management is imperative right now. Mark things down in your calendar, whether it's on your phones, you know, on your desk, whether you prefer to have an actual calendar, mark things down. Sometimes we get so busy, we forget things. But this is about juggling time management and maybe time management is important right now. Write out to-do lists and mark them off, check them off one at a time. There could be two choices, two decisions, two offers, two options coming towards you. And you may have to make a decision. Make light of it, Pisces. You're the star. You know that inevitably you'll make the right one. Wow. Okay. Coming in with our next card, we've got Hopeful inspired, optimistic, and that beautiful word, success. So all things that we're working towards, all things that we're fighting for, all things that we're promoting ourselves for are going to come in. With that, though, comes in the card Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords is that card of struggle. It's that no-win situation. It's going into battle mode. And we know that when we go into battle mode, there are risks and there are consequences. So you better weigh those out very carefully before you allow yourself to get caught up in any kind of debate, dispute, or argument this week. Um, often what happens is it ends something. We may win the battle but lose, we may win the war but lose the battle. And that means often when things are said, we lose the friendship or we lose, you know, we lose something in it. I think something's going to end here for you. Continue to be hopeful because obviously something may be coming up this week where you either could be reminiscing about a situation that happened, but it ended and you're moving on into a new direction. Something ends here. It could be anything. It could be a friendship. It could be a relationship, a romantic relationship. It could be an unfulfilling job or a project that you thought you were going to succeed at. Anything. OK, stay hopeful, OK, because you need to be inspired. You need to be optimistic in order to see success coming in. I don't mind the death card. The death card is inevitable of something coming to a conclusion. It could be the end of a contract you were working with, the end of a project, uh, anything. OK, something comes to an end. And now you've got this wonderful opportunity to look through new portals of of optimistic 
um, progress going forward. So these are, you know, these are, this is a positive card too. Something ends, but a new beginning comes in. And we get offered the opportunity for a new beginning when we end something. We have to close one door, right, in order to go through the next. Coming in next, we have take responsibility for your choices. This is your life to live. Own it. So this is about not letting others, you know, look what we got here. We got the five of wands with it. How ironic is that? So, you know, this is a card of struggle. This is a card of feeling competitive or being pushed into that element and energy. Um, but be careful what you do and what you say because you are going to have to live with that. Okay, this is your life to live and own it. Stand your ground. Defend your corner if, if must be. But know that uh, the struggle will be over um, if, if you choose to make it end. Okay, so if you choose to fight and go on, that's your choice. If you choose to say, not my, not my monkeys, not my battle, I'm, and walk away, you can do that too. Own your life. This is your life, okay? With it comes a beautiful card of the Ten of Cups. We know that's one of the best cards in the deck. This is happiness, fulfillment, um, and you're living your life the best way you can. This is your life. Live and own it. You want to be happy. So a lot of you have, have come to the conclusion that, you know, you don't want to compete anymore. You're going to stand up and stand in your own authenticity, your, your own uniqueness. Remember, we are one fingerprint in time and we are all, even though Pisces tend to have a lot of characteristics that are similar, we are one fingerprint in time. So don't allow yourself to get caught up in other people's battles. You don't have to compete with anybody, Pisces, because you shine and walk in your own magnificence light uh you know you be you're just a, a light a beautiful light being you are going to see all the happiness you deserve coming into you you know after every storm and the sun shines again we often see that beautiful illumination of a rainbow and they're special to us as pisces right we never miss a rainbow, no matter how big or small it is. We always tend to look that direction. So Pisces, your cups are filling. Something you're doing is bringing you to that level of success, fulfillment, and happiness. Whether it's your relationships, your friendships, your family members, your children. Uh, you know, you are getting, uh, you are connecting really well with the powers that be, the universe, and also with someone else. Now, coming in at the end of the reading, <clears throat> we have comparing yourself to others keeps you stuck in a cycle of guilt, shame, and continues to separate you from blessings. It keeps you small. Understand that everyone has their own journey, which always unfolds in divine timing. Your time will come. Look what I said. Isn't that amazing that that card came in next? I didn't look at this reading after I laid the cards. So, I lay them, they come out of the deck, they fly to the deck, these are the cards, then I do the reading. So, yes, don't compare yourself to anybody, Pisces. Just because somebody else is get, doing what you do and they're succeeding much faster, that's their journey. They, it's their time. Your time's coming because it's showing me here that your progress is coming in, but you're having to work for it. And it's taking a little bit of time, but you are shining in your light. You're going to see the changes you're making are going to bring you happiness. Okay, and I do see this as long term. So coming in with that, you've got the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, we know she's the energy that steps forward and says, you know what, I'm out of here. She turns her back and she says, this isn't working for me. I'm moving in a new direction. I'm changing things up that are going to be better for me. She cuts things out. She cleans house. Okay, she sees through the illusion. She's able to see a clear sight line and she goes forward. You might be doing that, Pisces. You might have changed things. And as you know, that word change seems to be our middle name. We're always changing things because we know that we want to see progress. We want to learn. We want to move forward. We are the sea sponges and we want to absorb all that positive energy and learn from it. And also the negative energy and, the, and our failures and shortcomings. We learn from them in order to change and move forward and not repeat them. So you're cutting things out again. Now, some of you, it could be anything. It could be an unfulfilling job. It could be, um, you know, uh, it could be a relationship, a friendship, um, cutting something out that doesn't serve you. You could actually just initially be cleaning your office out or your garage or your basement or your closet. Anything that allows unnecessary elements and energy that aren't being used for you in a good way, you're going to get rid of it. Now, coming in with your final card here, with this <clears throat> comes the Six of Pentacles. Now, 
The Six of Pentacles is that I always say this is a gift card. Something's coming in for you or you're gifting someone else. This is an even division. This is fairness. This is equal uh, equality. Uh, this is getting what you deserve, Pisces. Okay, now this could be coming in in the form of time, effort, support, love or money. You could be giving that to someone else, right? This is a charitable act. This is something that's coming in that's going to, you know, I think you're getting uh, some of you and are getting what you deserve for the hard work that you're putting out there. Success in business. That's what I'm seeing. Well, my beautiful Pisces, this is our daily vibe from our guides for today, August 29th. And I wish you a beautiful, optimistic, healthy, happy, prosperous, and successful one. And always know I stand in this circle of love and light for you. And I'll see you soon, my beautiful mermaids and mermen.